Very good morning, my name is Hector Henry Molinaris, by Autonomous University of Hidalgo. I want to share with you the topic Sustainable Development in Mexico Environmental Care. I want to thank you because of the opportunity to share with you in this first virtual and international symposium. Thank you very much to the Red Academica International and Interinstitutional Investigation of BBC. What do we have in the agenda? The topics that we are, we are taking in that lecture, they are the introduction to sustainability, what does it mean, sustainability, environmental care in Mexico. New World Order has increased the necessity to find a sustainable way of, of, to live. In a productive society, it's necessary to structure a coexisting strategy which give to the world the opportunity of a sustainable world. We have some factors that decrease dramatically or to alarming levels the pollution, pollution in our planet. For example, the actual population is it's not the same, they are not the same needs for our populations that a hundred years ago, because nowadays we are seven billion persons in the planet so if we compare it with the, with the persons who lived in the 18th century or in the, in the 17th century, the, the, there exists a very big range of difference. So that means for our actual population gives a lot of pollution to our planet. The actual production dynamic also there is a factor that increases the pollution of our planet, the social lifestyle, the non conscious the culture and the education of persons that sometimes do not take care about what they are doing with their environment and of course with the, in the very ecological focus. Here we have a picture where we can see, where we can notice the, the, the pollution of our planet, for example, in the areas of China, of India, or of Iraq, and of, in the north of Africa, we have a lot of pollution, a lot of so we need to take care of our, we need to take into consideration that specific thing. So environmental pollution, social inequality and economic problems are also a fact here in our country, here in Mexico. The country must work on these strategies to mitigate sustainable problems. We have three focuses or three dimensions of sustainability. The social one, the, the economic and the environmental. So what is the social dimension? The social dimension means that we need to take care about the social care system, the public security system, the education, the equity to handicapped, and the gender equality. In the social aspect, we need to take care about our people. Here in Mexico, for example, we need to increase the, our strategies to take care about our, our population. Because sometimes we can notice that kind of unequalities or non-equalities in some aspects, for example, in gender or handicapped aspects. The economic dimension or the economic focus of the sustainability means that we need to give very good strategies, for example, in the macroeconomic aspects and in the microeconomic aspects also. And the environment or the ecological uh, point of view or dimension of the sustainability means that we need to take care of, to, to, to need, need to, to take a lot of care in the ecological point of view. So we need to take care about in our environment because we live in our in this planet, we live in, the, in that community, we live in that in that specific planet. So, environmental care in Mexico, for example, it's mentioned in the IPCC 2013, the human activity has had an important, very important changes in the world, global environment, and the tendencies, which its actual, with, with its actual lifestyle, human being would provoke irreversible changes on the world surface because of what we have seen, because of our production systems because of our uh, population needs and because of our culture all those factors those factors 
that affects, that contribute to increase, increase our pollution here in, in the planet. For example, in Mexico City it is possible to see, nowadays it's possible to see the negative influence of, of the population because some, some time ago, some years ago, you, can, you could go to a landscape, to a natural landscape and, and you didn't, you couldn't see any color, but nowadays, in these very days, you go to a landscape, for example, to the Sumitoros Canyon, and you can see, you can watch the influence of the population. Here we have another picture where we mention that here in Mexico we give to the environment around 400 kilos per person per year of carbons. So if we consider that we are more than 120 million, uh, 20 million persons here in Mexico, they are a huge amount of garbage that here in our country are, are given to, giving to, the, to the environment. So Mexico holds the potential for a disastrous confrontation or a constructive breakthrough regarding sustainable development. If we take care about our environment, that's for sure that we will increase our our level of life, and, and we won't we won't uh, give some extra garbage to our to our environment. So a characteristic of modern so modern society is growing dimension of pollution substances to the environment, particularly those from industrial services. Meaning agriculture and handmade and domestics. That's why we industrial in our industrial context we need to take care about what products do we use, what products do we give to the to the to the final client or to the final consumer, because we industries are giving a lot of pollution to our environment. There exist some regulations here in Mexico, for example, in 1971 was presented the first law uh, to take action, to take co into consideration the environmental care here in Mexico. And also we have also we have another references, for example, the National Development Plan, the General Law of Wildlife, the General Law of Ecological Balance and Environmental Protection, which which that which give the chance to take care about, about the environment which give us the regulation to take care about our, our environment. So what action we people must take care of, must take it into consideration? Well, first of all, to take and to adopt both in foreign public politics. But as a matter of fact, that will be or that is in a governmental level. But we, in a very particular case, we need to take particular actions, for example, to take care of our water, for example, to take care about the use of our cars, because for ex because as a matter of fact, we sometimes make a travel or make a trip, only one person by one car, so if we can make more efficient that relation in the use of the car, that would be very good for our environment. So we need to take care about this very particular actions. So, uh, in conclusion, we can notice that here in Mexico has, how we have a lot of initiatives, a lot of regulations, and for example, they all are in the same line of the National Development Plan. As a matter of fact, I insist, I insist that we need to take particular actions to take care about our environment, to take care about our, our particular our particular context. Here we have the basic, uh, basic references to this lecture and thank you.